Dave Hughes gets his fingers slapped by YouTube. All right, so by now I'm sure everybody has heard it's old news that Dave Hughes has got another little strike against him. So he has been suspended from uploading for two weeks on his main channel. He still has his Camo Dave and his uh, all his other things, his uh, web page, Facebook, and all, everything else. So you can still check out Dave. And he's still posting his uh, videos on his Camo Dave. So you can go over there and check him out. Now, I have often been compared to Dave in a few ways. I guess we do similar things, but in a different fashion. Um, it has been said that I don't have the, I guess you would say, tenacity or the drive or the commitment that Dave has. Because I don't post every day. Well... Let me explain this to you real quick. First of all, this isn't my, I don't know, life. YouTube is fun. I post videos when I have something to say. If I don't have anything to say, I don't post videos. Number two, I do have a visual impairment, so it takes me a little bit longer to do things like editing and other things like that, even just setting up a shot. It takes me a little bit longer. Next on the list, Dave wears a white t-shirt camo pants every single day. For all we know, Dave could get up and throw on the same clothes and go about his business. He goes and eats, he has shit in his beard, and and all that. See, I get up, I take a shower, I wash my hair, I trim my facial hair, and I get dressed differently every day. Dave doesn't really have a place to live, per se. He's staying with friends and family, and he's moving around. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But he basically uh, walks the dog and does his business. I still have to mow the lawn, do laundry, do dishes, wash my car, all kinds of things like that. So YouTube isn't my top priority. The other thing is I edit my videos. I shoot my videos. I edit my videos. I insert clips. I insert photos. I do all kinds of things. I don't hold a camera at my hip shooting up through my nose at the sky. Or I don't hold a camera at my face, then turn to my cam my computer screen, then my face, then my con computer screen, and then just upload. It takes me longer. So, yes, we do similar things in critiquing the YouTubers. However, we do it very, very differently. So to compare us, eh, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. But it's not quite fair either. So, since Dave has got his little strike, and he got his little slap on the fingers from YouTube, and won't be able to upload for two weeks on his main channel, again, you can still check him out at Camo Dave on YouTube. He's still posting there. I figured, since everyone wants to see the unedited walking around videos from people that they're the popular ones it doesn't matter if you put any effort and try to make some content as long as it's something every day that's what i will do so today this is the closest thing i have to a white t-shirt i have my camo pants on i'll give you the dave crotch shot I'm going to find a baseball cap and I'm going to go do a video just like Dave. Hey everybody. It's Monday. I'm just out walking around and we're going to talk about things 
like YouTube and their freedom of speech. Sometimes I uh, talk about Jason the lion and I guess they don't like that. So I guess I got some strikes against me. And when I talk about Adam the Woo, he sometimes gets upset. Because you know, when I talk about Eric, I mean Jordan, I mean Jason, I mean Adam, you know, sometimes I guess people just don't like to hear the criticism. Because there's YouTubers, when they get so big, they just want to be able to go around and do whatever they want to do without any criticism. And I guess that's just not fair, is it? So they pick on me, little poor old Dave. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. So what's going on today in the world of our nomads? Oh, wait, hold on. Camo crotch shot. Okay, so. We have Captain the Mad Fanatic lost his tooth. The tooth. As a matter of fact, it, it was so windy at the beach that I went to open the side door of my RV. Actually, it's just one of those things. And when I get to my dentist on. Um, Embarrassed about it, but you know, it is what. So there you have it, good old Adam. I mean Jordan. I, I mean Eric. Eric bumped his face and lost a tooth. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> Okay, ready? Letters, 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 letters. So I posted a video. It's uh there are too many RVers. And it's uh talks about some other things, but the gist of it is at the end I say about how uh you know everybody just has to put out a video every day just to put out a video and it's like oh here I am on the campfire drink a beer you know you want to see it here I am cooking an enchilada you know you want to see it here it is out my windshield for as I drive around for 10 minutes you know you want to see it well letters 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 Dave Hughes says nobody is forced to send their money to an RVer if the YouTube nomad wants to beg for donations and produce mediocre content and people want to pay for it because they enjoy watching it, that okay with me. How American. However, then today we see Dave say, once you start to build a business up like you're doing on YouTube and once you start to make some income, if that's the choice you take, then don't sit on your ass and, and just crank out crap, okay? It's like a job thing, you know? If you want, if you don't want to monetize, if you just, my YouTube channel is just me showing what I'm doing every day just for the fun of it, that's fine and people do that. But if you're going to be taking in the ad revenue, taking in the Patreon, keeping up your Patreon page, doing all that stuff, bringing it, you, you have to kick back and give the give the customers what they want. And yeah, yeah, I get some, I get it. Take some free time, go home now and then, take a week or two off, take a vacation, no problem with that. But keep the channel content quality, make it better, improve it. And then maybe you'll even get richer and hire, hire people and I don't know. I don't know, man, I don't know, anyway. Thank you all for the wonderful cup. So in other words, I guess what I'm hearing is when I say the YouTubers 
need to get off their asses and make quality content and not just chug out shit every day just for the fact of putting out a video it's bad and putting out mediocre content is okay in Dave's view and I was wrong in saying that but when Dave says it guess what I guess it's a little bit different I guess when Dave says it he means it so when blind view says quit putting out bullshit put out quality content eh, no mediocre contents okay when Dave says it they better jump to it vlog under what we do here is go back 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 back